Tom and G. I am home from tour for a week, as you know, because I saw you the other day, and I've immediately gotten ill. We had 10 shows in five days in Plymouth, which is the most hardcore thing I've done in my career to date, and as soon as I came home and relaxed, my body just turned to mush. So I'm spending most of my time off sleeping and drinking all the tea, but I want to congratulate both of you guys on winning Ice Lolly's Mum and Dad of the Year Award. <laughs> The fact that you both won in separate mum and dad polls is amazing and thoroughly deserved. From someone who's close to you and sees firsthand what amazing parents you are and how you both just casually take it all in your stride without even batting an eyelid and making it look ridiculously easy no matter what those two little monkeys throw at you, I can say that it's 100% thoroughly deserved. And with winning those awards, some might even say you've made it, which segues into the title of this video, Dear Tom and G, the one when we made it. When I got cast as Eponine, which was like my ultimate holy grail of a role, so many people said to me, well that's it, you've made it. Which firstly, made me feel great, but secondly, it terrified me, because if getting cast as Eponine was making it and I was only 20, what then? What happens after? Does that mean my career's over? Does that mean that nothing from now on will ever top being Eponine? After literally years worth of thought, I've come to the conclusion that the idea of making it is actually quite dangerous. Once you start thinking you've made it, there's the risk of becoming complacent because you think, well that's it, I've made it. I've peaked, everyone's going to remember me for that one thing in my career and I don't need to try as hard anymore because that's it, that's all I need to do now. And personally, I think that that mentality can only mean a steady decline in your career because you're not doing anything to maintain that level of achievement or success. If you keep fighting and keep pushing and keep trying to do better and be better and constantly move on to new and exciting things and create opportunities for yourself where you can, despite this idea of making it, life is never going to be boring. Even if you achieve something as big as like Mark Zuckerberg, for instance, with Facebook, and you make millions and squillions and you never have to worry about money ever again, life just becomes really boring and your soul becomes so unfulfilled if you never take on any other exciting projects just because that was when you thought you made it. I often slip into this idea of what now. I played Eponine, the role that I always wanted to play since I was a child. What now? I'm playing another role that was hugely sentimental to me as a kid. What now? I fulfilled my dream of having a book I've written on the shelves of Waterstones. What now? And I used to think that that was a really toxic way of thinking because I was constantly pushing myself, sometimes too hard, to think of the next thing and how can I outdo myself in my last project. But now I realise that that's not only the way that I, I personally think it should be, but it's also the way that I like it. Always asking what now or what next means I'm never stationary, I'm never complacent, and most importantly, above all else, I'm never bored. Today I look like this and I shall see you next Wednesday.